Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, we will learn how to upgrade the signature databases. Why do we need to update the signature databases? Network intrusion means, n types of viruses, and applications, emerge one after another and change quickly. However, a false can be outfoxed. To enable the firewalls to identify new applications, and defend against viruses and attacks promptly, we need to update the signature databases constantly. Firewall signature databases include IPS, antivirus, application, and location signature databases. Updating the IPS and antivirus signature databases require licenses. We need to purchase and activate the update service licenses before we update the signature databases. The licenses are mandatory, no matter what update mode we will use. Updating the application and location signature databases does not require any license. We can update a signature database in a scheduled manner, immediately or locally. Now, let's introduce the three update modes one by one. In scheduled update, the firewall downloads and installs the latest signature databases on a scheduled basis. If the firewall can access the update server directly over the internet, we can configure scheduled update for the firewall to connect to the update server for updating the signature databases. Let's see how this mechanism works. This is a simulation scenario in which the firewall directly connects to the update server for scheduled signature database updates. At first, the firewall sends an update request to the security center. After the update permission is verified, the device downloads the latest signature database version from the security center. If the firewall cannot directly access the security center over the internet, we can use a proxy server to connect to the security center for the upgrade. The figure shows the scenario. The firewall connects to the proxy server and sends it an update request. After confirming the firewall identity, the proxy server forwards the update request to the security center. After the security center verifies the update permission, the proxy server downloads the latest signature database from the security center and transmits it to the firewall. After we know how scheduled update works, let's see how to configure it. On the Update Center page, click the server address next to refresh. If an update server is available, enter the update server address. Usually we update signature databases from the security center and use the default domain name. To update signature databases from another update server, specify the server IP address. The port number of the server is 80 by default. We can set the scheduled update duration to daily, or a specific day. If a proxy server is used, enter the IP address and port of the proxy server, as well as the username and password, for logging into the proxy server. After all parameters are set, select Enable Scheduled Update, for the desired signature databases. Then the firewall will update the signature databases, regularly based on our settings. Please note that scheduled update does not apply to the location signature database. After we learn scheduled update, we are going to learn what is immediate update. If we find new network attack means, viruses, or applications before the scheduled update time approaches, we can select immediate update. The mechanism is the same as that of scheduled update. Therefore, we also need to complete update server settings. However, Immediate update is not restricted by time, and the signature databases can be updated at any time. The operation is quite simple. We just need to click update immediately, for the desired signature databases. Please note that immediately update does not apply to the location signature database. After the update succeeds, we can see that the downloading succeeded, is displayed in the status column. At last, Let's see what is local update. If the firewall cannot connect to the internet, and no proxy server is deployed, 
We can update signature databases locally. We need to register and log in to the Security Center. Then on the page for downloading signature databases, select the desired models and versions. And download the signature database files to the firewall. Please note that all signature database files are zip files. Then return to the web page and continue local update. We need to upload the zip files that we have just downloaded to the firewall to complete the update. OK, this is the end of the course. Thank you for staying with us. Looking forward to seeing you next time.